Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. It's actually 7 p.m. I'm actually gonna film this late. Let's get back to the video. I was just going through my makeup drawers because I'm going to Cyprus on Thursday. We leave Thursday morning. We leave Thursday morning and we come back Sunday night. And after I packed, well, after I put all my makeup bits I want to take into my makeup bag. My makeup drawer looked very empty. <laughs> and that's because I've literally packed everything on this sink in my makeup bag. Like this is the before. Um which is too much stuff. So I wanna actually go through what I've picked, um, why I've picked it, and I wanna narrow it down and I literally wanna take out at least ten things, I think. Um I wanna take this brush, which I used um today to do this makeup if you guys want to see how i achieved this makeup look i filmed a get ready with me which will be the last video that you guys have seen and i used this and i quite liked it um and i like a dual brush when i go away okay so i've emptied my makeup bag i thought i emptied my makeup bag i haven't sorry guys I'll just make sure there's nothing on the side so empty makeup bag it's one of those like folding rectangle makeup bags that's so cool because when you open it you have a lot of space so let's so i actually think i got two of most categories so let's kind of see which i want to take out of the two so the first is um primer i have the all night to face primer and i have the hourglass mineral reveal primer um they're both good I don't know what I want to take. I also have the Hydro Grip Palette in my, but I've never used that, so I don't want to take a primer that I've never used on holiday. How many mils is this? Five mils? I guess this will be okay. Just look at the size as well. Nine mil. I think I'm going to take the All Nighter Face Primer. I love both, like, but I feel like. In terms of size, this is a lot smaller than this one. And this is a glass bottle. So I'm going to put it back in my mini's drawer. Um, so that will be my first base product. That was nice and simple. Next, two primers that I short narrowed down for my Cypress list is the All Nighter Satin Spray and the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury Satin Spray. I like them both, but I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury spray sets my makeup, but it kind of like does a max fix plus, but it kind of refreshes. I don't know what it does, and it makes it look amazing, whilst the all-nighter makes it last all day, which I think I can do without. I think the Charlotte Tilbury spray, if I had to pick between the two, definitely Charlotte Tilbury spray. So, that's two down. With corrector, I've like over, I've like broken my um, corrector, and I can't, wind it down. It's not a manufacturer. I just kept trying to see how much I had left and I broke it and I literally have like the tiniest amount left. So this will not be smart to bring. But then I have an issue where I'm not sure what character I, I like. That's not the only hair and Rixen one. I have this one which is the Charlotte Tilbury um, 1 in 4 which is obviously way too dark. I don't think I can get away with using that. I also have a new one of the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade three, which is kind of an orange one, oh, which is kind of an orange one, but I feel like it's still a lot darker than what I'm used to. I just don't know. I feel like I can make it work. I feel like we'll try this together. Um, we may have already tried this together. If I have, I'll link the video up. Um, we'll try it tomorrow because um, I don't have work till tomorrow night and see if I like it. The lip tinted one also, I find it's just a bit too dark. So I think the safest option for me is take my MAC Prep and Prime one, which I've had for a while. And that's like this orange shade. I think I might take that one. But so it will be between this one. I've lost it already. So I think for colour practice, I'm going to put the MAC Prep and Prime, but I will take the Charlotte Tilbury one if I like how it stays. We're going strong. 
It's a base. This is a hard one. So I have two options. I've got the Glossier Skin Tint and the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. Because I feel like the skin tint will be nice to just wear as like new makeup makeup. And you can literally use your fingers to apply this. Whereas the NARS Radiant will give me a bit more coverage. But do I really want to wear a high coverage foundation? Please help me. I feel like realistically on holiday, I don't think I'm going to wear a full foundation. Or am I? I have in the mix is the caramel. I still haven't decided between my foundations, but I think this will help me decide. It's the matchstick and caramel. I know this, they no longer do the shade, so I'm so sorry guys for teasing this. But basically, I was wondering if I can use this. So I feel like I can just use this as, um, Foundation and concealer. If I need some extra coverage, I think. So I think I'm going to take the Glossier Skin Tint. I'm going to take the Glossier Skin Tint and I'm going to take this caramel matchstick. That's the final verdict. If you do see this, if you do see me wear this foundation in Cypress, I'm sorry. <laughs> and if this does end up coming, if you do end up seeing me use this in Cypress, don't say anything. Um, I don't think I'm taking this, but if I have any space in my liquid bag, I might squeeze this in. So if you see this in Cypress, we'll just pretend that this video is gonna happen, okay? So for the concealer, I have three concealers. I'm going away for three and a half days. Please tell me why I have three concealers. It's excessive, it's not needed. Um, I do love my pot concealer. I just have so much stuff that I have not. I guess it'd be nice to like top up my makeup with this. So maybe I'll take two concealers. I don't like how it looks like. So I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take the Glossier one. So between my two favorite concealers, I think I'm going to take, I'm just trying to see how they look. I'm literally gonna have like 10 layers of makeup by the end of this video. I think I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty one. It's more brightening. And I'm taking corrector to, yeah, I'm taking the Huda Beauty one. I think one concealer, it's more than enough. I think kind of taking more than one concealer for two and a half days is just pure excessive. It's not needed. I love how bold I'm being. See, so, yeah. the concealer that I'm going to take is the Huda Beauty concealer. It's matte. It's highlighting. It covers under the eyes. And I have like three different concealers under my eyes. So please don't judge how my under eyes look right now. Quickly go fix up. To the most excessive part is I'm taking two powders. Um, do I need to take two powders? You might, no, I do not, but am I? Yes. I'm gonna take the Refi Skin Finish powder in the shade two. Um, I have the shade one, which is the yellow base one, and two. Um, but I'm also going to take the Huda Beauty um, loose powder in the shade Blondie. And because I am taking the Blondie shade, I'm going to take the orange shade in um, the Refi one. Because the Refi one's more of like a finishing powder, whilst this one's a baking powder. And I can't choose between the two because I feel like I'll need both for this trip. So... 
I am being a bit excessive with the powders, but I think I'm literally be cut through it with all the other areas. But I can afford to take two powders. That's my justification. I'm still priming myself on taking one foundation and one concealer. That's really not me. So for brow, I'm only taking the brow sculpt. I'm a very low mount I'm a very low maintenance brow girl, so that's okay. And a tool I'm taking is my eyelash curlers by Shiseido. I don't actually use them very often, but I've started using them, so I kind of want to continue that. Next, I have blush. I have four blushes. And then when I like deeped it when I was packing, I was like, I'm away for three and a half days. And I've packed four blushes. Like, am I okay? Probably not. So the four blushes I first got out for this trip is the Patrick Ta She's So LA blush. It's like a brown blush. And I never thought anything of it, but oh my God, if you try this blush on, it looks insane. I'll show you guys. So you put, um, this blush is a bit weird in the sense that you put the powder one, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this first. And I'm gonna show you how this brush, bron blush looks like. So if you look at it, it looks like nice and sun-kissed. Like from a brown blush, you'd never expect that. And then you put some of the cream on top. And it literally gives me a sun-kissed glow. I love it. And like this, I can pair with the nude lip, red lip, any colour lip, this blush will go. And it's like such a neutral everyday blush. I really want to take this. Now, I also have this blush called Citrine from Refai. It's an orange blush. It also, I'll show you, looks beautiful when applied. Blush just looks beautiful. I don't know which one to take. So this is the Citrine Orange one. I also have two pink blushes. Malia by Refai, I have Hip Pan. This, this is how you know I love this blush because I have Hip Pan. Um, this is like my full safe blush. If I don't know what to use, I use this one because this blush can do no wrong. But I do feel like I'm on holiday, I should mix it up a little bit. Then we have a goodie, which is the Sun Kissed Blush by um, New Stokes, which is basically a burnt pink. And this also looks nice. So I'm just trying to figure out which ones to take. I think I'm going to take three blushes. I'm going to take the Sun Kiss, the Patrick Tar, she's, a, she's so LA, and the Refi Citrine. My favourite blush of all time, Refi Malia. I've used it a lot and I feel like there's not much. I've hit pan, I've used it and loved it so much. I feel like we'll save it for when I'm in the UK. Probably not doing the best, but it's a game. And I also have two bronzers I want to take. Um, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt. This is a blush loved by many um, of my favourite influencers. The Alana and Anna Edit have both finished one and repurchased this. So I like it and I, try I wore it today and it blends so smoothly. I used this at Cosmetic Brush and it was such a game changer. I loved it. So that's coming with me. The makeup by Mario is quite soft, so I'm also taking the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour. As you can see, I'm nearly out of this. I absolutely love this, and I literally use it every day. So it will be a crime if I just don't take that one. I'm also going to take a powder bronzer. I'm taking the I'm taking Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Matte Bronzer in the shade Caramel QT because I feel like it makes such a difference when you set your powder. I've literally been a cream girly for like over two years now. And I feel like powder's coming back in and like, I'm kind of here for it because it kind of gives you this flawless base, which I really enjoy. So now, let's go back into the other stuff that I'm taking. For mascara, I am taking two mascaras. They're both travel sizes. I'm taking the Rare Beauty Mascara absolutely love this one and the by terry grey booster mascara and then oh i'm also taking a sharpener because you never know so for eyes i have gone a little excessive but it's okay i am taking five eyeliner pencils 
but they don't take up much space so I'm gonna say it's okay so I'm taking five Victoria Beckham eyeliners I love the formula I love how they glide and I love how they splurge I'm taking the black shade the brown shade the dark grey glitter shade the gold copper shade and the silver shade as well that literally gives me access to all black brown silver smoky eyes i've just realized because i'm taking these five oh, i also had the caviar sticks in here as well i'm also taking a Lori mercier caviar stick in the shade tuxedo which is a black one and the boy brown cream eyeshadow stick in the shade bark which is dark brown i love a cream smoky eye so it is a bit excessive i'm not lying to you but it's okay i'm hoping to take some content for you guys as well so hopefully i stick to it and do it then for eyeshadow i do have three eyeshadows i'm not sure if i should take all of them so for eyeshadow I'm taking my Makeup by Mario matte palette. You literally can't go wrong with this. I absolutely love this. And I am taking three other eyeshadows. So these are my Duo Bright Duo eyeshadow. These are my Bright Duo eyeshadows by Kiko. This is a gold one and this is the black and silver one and I love this. It has gives a shimmer. It's really beautiful. I like them. So I'm gonna take the shade Caffeine Queen, which is what I have in my eyes now. It's a beautiful shade. It's kind of like lock and key, but it's not as gold, but it's okay. I'm kind of heartbroken that's broken. It's a very dear, very dear eyeshadow of mine. Then I'm also taking for highlight, I'm taking the Glowgasm Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Simple. And I have one more eye product. Oh, I have two more eye products before we move into lips. I have the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid which I don't think I'm going to take now. Now I'm thinking when I'm taking a lot of glitter stuff that I probably won't use this. Yeah, I think realistically I'm not going to use this. So that's also good. I think we've done quite good progress, I must say. So now we have, oh, and I'm taking my Makeup by Mario liquid liner. Easy peasy. Now we have, let me count how much lip products we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen lip products for a three and a half day holiday. Have I gone crazy? I think so. Let's do this in a logical way, lip liners. I have three lip liners here. I do like all three lip liners. I'm gonna swatch them. And I think lip liners don't really take up that much space. I've got chestnut and I love cork. I do like, I normally do like a little concoction between chestnut and I think, I really don't need both chestnut and the Makeup Forever one. I'm gonna bring both. So I'm taking three lip liners. I'm taking two brown ones, which is the Makeup by Makeup Forever Artist Colour Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown and MAC Chestnut. I normally use MAC Ch Chestnut, but the last couple of these are using Makeup Forever and I'm really enjoying it. So we're taking the three lip liners. Now, moving on to the other bits. Oh, I ha also have this red lip liner, which is the Refi Lip Sculpt in the shade Red which is kind of a lip liner, so that's also going in the makeup bag. I don't know if I've done right, I don't know if I've done well or not, because I've put everything that I've, I've put all the things I'm not taking back into my makeup drawer, so I'm not sure how many items I've put back. We can rewatch it and see. So, red lipstick. I am taking this matte red lipstick from Sephora which changes a lot. I'm taking this matte red lipstick from Sephora. It's a gorgeous red lip. This has changed a lot because I feel like if I'm going for a matte red lip, then I don't really need a lip gloss, do I? A red lip gloss. Maybe I do. 
So I actually have three red lip gloss shades. I have I have the Refi Red Lip Gloss and I have the Hourglass Phantom Lip Gloss in the shade Thrill. I also have this mini Clarence Lip Oil. I think the Refi one's going because last time I traveled with it, it doesn't travel very, very well. So I think it's between the Phantom Lip Gloss and the Clarence one. I feel like the Clarence Lip Oil just might be nicer um, than the Phantom one. So I'm going to take the Clarins Lip Oil because it's also small, so it will fit in all my evening bags and everything. So now, also going to be taking my Hourglass, um, Hourglass Mahada Beauty Nude Lip in the shade Joyride. I tried it on the other day in a video and I've loved it ever since. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm also going to take my lip balm from Laneige in it goes. Ooh. I think I might take my Road Lip Balm over my large one because it's my large one is really finish nearly finishing so I'm gonna take my road lip peptide treatment as my lip balm. You could also double up as a lip okay. I was also gonna take my um MAC lower cut but I don't think I need it. Next thing is my refi lip balms. I think I'm gonna take the shade Though I think Canyon's so dark. And why is quite pink here? I think I'm gonna take the shade Cinnamon definitely. And it's between Canyon and Wine. Wine's a bit pinky though. Because that's kind of close to the red lip, isn't it? Well, Canyon's kind of a berry shade. I'm going to take the shade Canyon as well. I also have the Phantom Lip Glosses. I'm going to take both shades, Roos and Haze. Do I feel like they're both quite similar? No, they're not. One's pinky, one's brown. We're good. I've been terrible. I also have this Cali Ray Lip Gloss, which is also quite nice. I'm going to add it to the mix. If it doesn't fit in my liquids, I'll take it out. So... This is the final product. Oh, this is the final product. I probably can still take more away, but I'm not going to. I'm only going for three and a half days, so I still think after taking it up, this is still a lot, but I think it's a slow progress. So, um, yeah. This is the makeup bag of an overpacker. Is this too much makeup for three and a half days? Yes, it is. Can I get... Can I probably take more stuff out? I probably can. Am I? No, I'm not going to. Um, I think it's a slow process. I've packed way more than this for a two and a half day trip to Dublin in the winter. So I'm hoping as I, so I'm hoping as the months go back and the more I'm traveling and filming what I'm taking, I think eventually I'll nail it to having just what I need. But unfortunately that's not me today. I'm just hoping one day I can narrow it down to just the essentials, but currently we're a long, long way away. So hopefully some by the end of the year, I've nailed the packing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you soon. Till then, hope you have a lovely week.